Hey everyone, it's Anne from Plain and Simple Crafts. Today is Tuesday, October 29th. We're two days away from Halloween. So I hope everyone has a safe and fun Halloween if you're with little ones. And I hope they have fun trick-or-treating. Uh, today, I am coming on here with a button. Um... I guess it's kind of like a haul, but more of a review. So recently I've been adding buttons to projects, and come to find out that buttons are not cheap. So I figured, what is a cheaper way to buy buttons? Um, the other day I was at my local dollar store, and wasn't expecting anything. I, I went to Dollar Tree. I asked the lady that worked there that, um, if they had buttons. And she's like, oh yeah, they're, they're, they're under shelf by the register. Now, this is a Dollar Tree that I go into often. They never use the register. They weren't with the normal craft supplies. I've never seen them there. Uh, I'm not Affiliate with uh, Dollar Tree, or I think the brand is Crafter Square. Crafter Square Notions. Um, the buttons come in this little jar. But I bought four of these little jars, and there's there's definitely quite a few buttons in there. Um, was it worth it? Absolutely. Some of them do have brand names on them. There's some from overseas that the brands I've never even heard of. There was an Old Navy one in there. Um, but they were assorted like this. I did separate them by color so I know, so it's like easy to find uh, the color that I want for a certain project. There wasn't that much purple. Purple's my favorite color. And there there's a handful of purple, but not as much as I want it. And they came either in colors like this, or they came in um, like navy blue, black, brown, the darker neutral colors. I think it was worth it. I, I, I pulled... I pulled out um, a few sets that are my favorite. Um, the first set is it's a light blue set and has like a really cool design in the button. And I found four of these in those jars, so I think there was two set, a set of two, and a set of two and another one. Now you do have to go and find, you do have to buy a few of them to get a set, but four buttons at Joann's or Michael's or... AC more, they they would probably cost a dollar each, even off of Amazon. Um, another set was this red set. I found two of these. There was two of them, one in each jar, and I love these. I think they're super cool. They're really sparkly, and that would make something nice for Christmas. Um. Then there's a screen set, which I thought were cool. They look like that. Then I had three, three of these, which would look cute on a baby elf, like a baby sweater. Oh, oh my gosh, 
Look, they're like little baseballs. And there's two of them. How cute would that be? For a baby project. For like a little embellishment. There was also a yellow set. There's two of these big yellow set. Now most of the buttons I found were on the smaller side. But I think it's totally worth it. Um, these were these were really cute. They're little hearts. And they're really, really sparkly. So there's three of them. Three of these little guys. And then there's a bunch of pink buttons. Um, as you can see... I did separate them by color. There were some neutrals. Um, I put the pink in one because there was a lot of pink buttons. There was a lot of pink and red. And then this is just like an assortment in purple and all the neutrals. Oh, I didn't pull out orange. Um, so back to the pink buttons. There was a bunch of these. I probably have 12 to 15 of these. They're really light pink. They're not really showing up that pink, though. Um, then there was a heart. Pink heart. That would look cute if it was like a baby sweater and you just want one button at the top. Little heart. Then there was this really cool button, a two tone button. There were some purples, but I didn't find many purple matches. But there were some really cool purple. Oh, wait, no, I have one purple match. Kind of like. They're kind of like a tie-dyed purple, like an ombre effect. I love these. Love them. Then I found these two cool buttons that are purple. They're definitely not a match, but would look really cool in a project. There was a gray set. Now yeah, they're kind of plain and boring, but... Maybe that would look nice with like a navy blue or a black. And you want those buttons to pop. There was an orange set that I wanted to show. Alright, so this is one of the orange ones. And... There is another one in this jar somewhere. This jar. Alright, so that's it. Moving on. Um, I had no idea that Dollar Tree sold buttons, but if you're in the market for buttons and you find them really expensive like I do, Go check out your local Dollar Tree. You might have to ask where they are because they weren't with any of the craft supplies. They were literally tucked under a shelf near the register. Uh, I've only seen them at one Dollar Tree. I haven't been... my The one Dollar Tree I go into in the opposite direction, they don't sell any craft supplies at all. Um, but there is another one that I wanted to go check out, but I don't think I will be button buying buttons anytime soon because, as you can see, it was totally worth the $4 that I paid for these little jars. Because you got a lot of buttons for, for a dollar. And then these were the other two. And they're all different sizes and shape, or all different um, colors. 
All right, everybody have a great night. Be safe on Halloween. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.